Monday. Oh Lord. It is Monday. I promise. <laughs> it is the first day of summer break for me. Um, holy. <sighs> Lots of things going on. Uh, let's recap just a little bit for this week before we get too far. Um, the Kickstarter launched last week. Today is day four and we are almost funded. I am a hundred dollars away. I haven't checked this morning. So if somebody funded it overnight, then that I don't know. But, um, last I looked last night, we were at $401 out of the 500. So very excited. Um, if you don't know, you should go check it out. There are links to all my social media and everything in the description box. So if you click that, you'll get access to all of my links and the Kickstarter is one of them. So all of the funds raised from the Kickstarter go towards um, paying for my editing, cover design, um, future projects as well. So it goes towards, it goes back into the business is what it does. Um, so go and support it if you can. If you don't have the money to purchase any of the fancy tiers and get the omnibus, you can still support a Kickstarter for as little as a dollar. And I would very much appreciate anything that you can do, whether it's that, or even just sharing out the Kickstarter on your own social media, I would very much appreciate it. So um, there's that. I am writing Trial of Flame and Wings, which I am very excited about. It is going well. That is pretty much my entire goal for today. I wanna try to write a pretty good chunk of that book. I need to put up laundry from yesterday. We're supposed to have a guy come to fix our air conditioner today also because we have two units, one on each side of the house and one side of the house, which is unfortunately the bedroom side, does not work. So it has been very warm and it is a week here where I live where it's supposed to hit 91 pretty consistently. So it's gonna be hot. So we are thankful he can come out um, today to do that. So because of that, I am kind of sticking around the house. Um, I was gonna go out with Finn, maybe take him somewhere to go play while I write. And I don't know, I may still do that depending on errands and whenever the uh, air conditioner guy can get here. So we will see. Um, I think those are all of my updates. So I think those are all of my updates. <laughs> so that's enough about me. What are all of you guys doing for the summer months? Do you guys take trips? Do you get time off from work? Um, what are you doing for the summer? The Kickstarter is fully funded. So that is so exciting. It is Monday. This just launched on Thursday. I think it was Thursday. Yeah. And it is now funded at $571 out of the $500 goal. So now we are on to pushing to the stretch goals. So the first stretch goal is a, um, a uh, live stream for the backers. So that's super fun. Um, and then after that, I think it's an additional scene. And so we are onward, moving on to the next thing. That's really exciting. I have not had a Kickstarter ever fund. The last one I ran got really close, but did not make it. So I'm excited that this one is funded. This is just another way for me to like provide really cool things for you guys. Um, which is really fun. I think that I'm going to do one of these for all of my books that I publish and instead of doing like a pre-order period, cause this is super fun. So yeah, really cool. Um, 
it's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> now on to planning for fulfillment. It is Tuesday. I woke up to an email that said the Kickstarter is now 671, I believe, dollars funded, which is crazy. The goal was $500, so we are over that and we just hit the first stretch goal, which is a live stream party for the people who've backed the Kickstarter. So that is super, super fun. Um, my plan for today, I just spent a little time cleaning up a little bit around the house. I thought it would be fun to go and sit at a coffee shop, but Finn was kind of rough last night. And so I'm going to let him sleep in, um, another like 30 ish minutes, maybe before I get him up. I think what I want to do today is get out. Um, I do want to go to a coffee shop, but we may not get to that today. I think I'm going to take him somewhere in town with a play place so that I can sit and write. Um, there's a Chick-fil-A in town that has a really nice play place. It's also not super big, so it's really easy to keep eyes on him. But I think I'll do that so I can let him get out and he can maybe play with some other kiddos because there's always kids there. Um, and I'll write a little while I sit there with him. Um, I kind of want to run a few errands. I need to get a can of spray paint to try out the sprayed edges because in the Kickstarter, the special edition omnibus, the hardcover is going to have sprayed edges and it's going to be silver. So I want to do a test run on some of the books I already have here in my collection. Um, before I do it on any stock. So we are going to do that, um, as well, hopefully, um, and maybe get a tie dye kit because Finn missed his last day of school, which was sad. He wasn't feeling the best and they were nice and they made a shirt for him. Um, like a, they did paint, they painted like dinosaurs, which was cute, but, um, now I have a shirt. And so I'm thinking that I might as well just tie dye because it would be an activity that Finn and I could do together. Um, so I may go get more tie dye stuff. I haven't tie dyed in such a long time, guys. Um, so best of luck to me. My proof copy of the Omnibus just got here. Look how thick this is. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> what? Are you joking? <laughs> Look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, it is super dense. But holy crap, is it gorgeous. I was a little worried about the spine, but that also turned out perfect. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I feel so much better.
Here's the case laminate. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's actually like a really deep purple color. Oh my gosh. There's the spine and the back. Holy. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Whew. Okay, so little like abrupt jumped, jump forward from all of the book content. I am still buzzing about that omnibus. I'm not going to lie. I was so, so sure. Um, I'd been preparing myself the whole time I was waiting, which is why I was so frustrated with how long it was taking to ship. I had been so prepared to make adjustments on that cover because I was so certain I was going to have to. Oh my gosh, I am just floored at how beautiful it looks. I'm going to have to do more video content to really show it off for you guys somehow, some way. I am amazed and I'm so proud of myself for accomplishing it because, wow, that was huge. And not only do I think I did a really great job of it, um, but that saved me a ton of money doing that. Um, so it was a lot of money that I could put back into my business account, which I loved. So definitely going to do more of that. I'm actually looking at, um, instead of buying the photos outright, which is what I did, I bought the photo outright from deposit photo. I'm looking at actually doing a subscription through them and paying monthly. Um, because looking at the future and maybe being able to go back to publishing three books a year, I almost think it would actually pay out to do that versus just buying singular images because it was pretty pricey that way too. So I'm going to have to do some number crunching to see if it actually is more cost efficient to just subscribe and pay monthly. So I don't know. We'll have to look into that. But I just had my therapy appointment, which was wonderful. I definitely needed it. Um, it's been a long road. Um, we've done a lot of discussing my transition out of my school counseling job and into, um, professional counseling. And, um, this was the first session where we got to talk about my feelings now that I am officially done with that chapter of my life. And it's been strange. Um, but I almost feel more myself now than I did a couple weeks ago when I was still in that job. So interesting. Um, but because it's been such a nice day, we went to the pool, we spent time with friends. I went out with Finn. I saw my mom. We went out together a little bit. I've done so many things today. It was so fun. Um, but because it's been such a productive day and I am just so excited about the way the omnibus turned out. Ooh, hiccups. I am going to go celebrate with some ice cream. So that is my next stop is to get an ice cream cone. Let's go. Good morning. It is Wednesday. I will probably be hanging around the house. Um, technically it is early enough that I need to get Finn up, but I am working on a project that I would kind of like to do without him around. Um, let me show you guys and I think you will understand what I mean by that. <laughs> so for the Kickstarter, this omnibus is going to have sprayed silver edges. So I need to wrap this book in paper and spray the edges. So yesterday when I was out with Finn, I got the spray paint. I got the tape. It's really thick. At first I thought, I don't want it to be this thick, but now that I'm looking, this is almost the exact size or like width, width as the spine. And so I think it may actually come in handy to have it wider. Um, and I'm sure I have butcher paper, like actual packing paper somewhere, but for it right now, um, and you, actually, you know what? It may be better if I go and get that paper. So I may do that. Um, let's look at that. So I'm going to go get different paper, I think. Um, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to work on this this morning. I'm going to try to spray it, let it sit out for a little bit, and um, then come back to it before we leave maybe to see what it looks like. Um, I 
am enjoying coffee. Finn and I have plans at about 11 o'clock, so we're gonna go out and play. So I'm just enjoying coffee right now. It is 9.43, um, cause we need to get ready in a tiddly bit. So we may actually end up at a coffee shop first. Um, but we'll see. That way I can write and stuff. Um, I unpackaged the omnibus of Guardians of the Six Gate. If you remember, and it's kind of hard to see. Let me get under some light. There we go. Kind of hard to see. If you remember, I sprayed the edges yesterday. So they are this really pretty silver. I will say what I've learned from doing this test copy is that I actually put too thick of a coat on. So when I went to break it apart, all the pages, it started to flake everywhere. And there is like a little section right here where it looks, it's really not like super noticeable, but it's a little streaky. Um, but otherwise this turned out super pretty. So I am very excited about it. It's a really subtle touch, but I think it's gorgeous. So I am going to do it on the Kickstarter campaign copies. Um, but my plan is to go in with a thinner coat um, because there is some like sparkle to this I didn't realize like actual glitter. And so I don't want that flaking off everywhere. So we are going to do that, but I am super happy with how it turned out. Also, this book is just thick enough that it is like killing my hand to hold it. Oh my gosh, but look how pretty it is. I'm so excited. Oh. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna set this down on the shelf, finish drinking some coffee and getting ready for the day. It is Saturday. It has been a nice few days around here. Um, I've had a couple people interested in booking me to be their editor. Um, if you didn't know, I do have another TikTok account now. It's Amy Procopus Publishing, where I have been advertising my editing services. Um, right now, I am actually doing a 50% off deal when you book your spot before the end of June. So that includes, even if you don't need an editor until a couple months from now, and you know that, if you can give me a date, so like November 7th, I don't know, and you go ahead and book that with me now, or until the end of June, you can get 50% off. So pretty good deal going on. Um, that is a 60,000 word novel at my rate for like 360 bucks. So pretty good deal. I have not done a ton of writing um, the last couple of days on Trial of Flame and Wings. Today I sat down and I've been doing a bit more. So that has been my goal. I have apple chips in the oven. We are supposed to get some pretty severe weather today. So we are expecting fun. This is a very Midwestern thing to say so let me start with that. But we're supposed to have bad weather come through, maybe possible tornado activity. And so we are having friends over and having dinner and drinks. <laughs> so if you live in the Midwest, you are gonna understand that. Um, 
part of that is just so we can all watch David Payne, who is the a really notable stormcaster here in Oklahoma. And he says like the funniest things on TV. And so part of that is so we can just binge watch David Payne together on the TV and let the kids play. But also the house they live at, they don't have a storm shelter and they don't even have a good area of their house to go to. And so if we do need to take cover, we at our house have a underground storm shelter in our garage. So if we have to take cover, they are a little safer at our house than theirs. So why not make a party of it? We were also invited to go to the pool again. It's the same friends. Um, they invited us to go to the pool. Um, she, the wife of the group, my friend, doesn't particularly care for the pool. She sits and reads while she's there. And so she wasn't planning on going anyway. And then we asked Finn this morning and he said he didn't want to go. So we are not going to the pool. We are hanging around the house. So that's why I thought it's the perfect day to do apple chips because they take like three hours <laughs> and also to write on trial flame and wings. So I am loving that book, by the way, so far. Um, some of the big action has happened. A lot of what I've been writing has just been establishing what the trial of marriage is. And the contestants, our main character, Ren, and um, some of the other supporting characters. So it's been a lot of fun. I'm getting ready to write more like action pack scenes as everyone kind of prepares for the trials. Um, <clears throat> so I'm hoping today to move into that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much where we are, but June June needed to go potty, right June? And so we are out here taking a break. done all of my normal Sunday chores. Also, aside from just doing Sunday chores, um, I've done the dishes, I've cleaned up the kitchen, uh, I'm doing laundry, I've done a lot of things. And because I haven't really done a lot, for, I mean, I've taken time off since I left my job, but I haven't like really, really sat down and indulged in anything for myself. Last night, um, I started reading Air of Fire again, which I was super excited about. I am in love with that series. Um, and uh, I will continue that, I think, again tonight because we have D&D &D tonight. Wow, these pillows don't really fit together anymore, do they? <laughs> um, but I want to sit down and watch TV. So I'm going to sit down as soon as I find the remote. There it is. And enjoy a documentary I've been meaning to watch for a long time for myself. So I am excited. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to continue making my batch creating TikTok content and such for the editing TikTok mostly. Um, yeah, that is what I am going to do. So I am gonna go ahead and get editing and stuff for this week's vlog. I am hoping to better draft out for the month of June, all of the content I want to put out. I'm hoping to put out a lot. So I will also work a little bit on that today while I watch this documentary. Um, so yes, so since I'm getting ready to do all of that, this is where I leave you guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you're interested 
in learning more about my editing um, endeavor, you could do that at amyprocopus.com. The link to that is in the links below, along with my social media, my books, the Kickstarter, which still is live. It'll be live until June 10th. We are up to $671, I believe, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much. Those of you who supported that in some way, whether that's sharing that with friends, telling someone about it, actually backing one of the tiers. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. It makes publishing and things a lot quicker for me and much more possible. So <laughs> thank you guys so much. Um, but that's it for this week. I'm going to sit down, edit the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Read books, be kind, and see you later. <laughs> Bye!